Good afternoon, Trucker Todd here and time for another video. This is a news video um, and actually this is a weird one. The big news in this story is not the, uh, the layoffs that we're going to talk about, but a brokerage company that may be getting ready to sell out or sell to someone else. We're going to talk about it in this video. So before we do, give me a thumbs up, share this video on your social media platforms. Make sure you're subscribed and let's not waste any time. Let's cue up the music and jump right in. Here we go. And this is why I do this, why I'm out here, why I keep that hammer down. Flying by these road signs with home on my mind. With these wheels turning round for my family and for my kids. For this life I want to live. Alrighty, we're back. So this story comes to us uh, from CDLLife.com. Says uh, shipping giant UPS. Doggone it! I hate all these stupid pop-ups. Shipping giant UPS will lay off twelve thousand workers. Um, and in this article, it uh, said that they announced this on Tuesday uh, during an earnings conference call. Uh, they claim it'll save them a billion dollars, and I was curious. I was like, dang, that sounds like a lot of money. So I did the math. It's a little over 83000 per employee is what they're, what they're saving. So uh, uh, that's a tough uh, deal there, It's especially in this economy with all that's going on. Hate to see anybody lose their jobs. Uh, the layoffs are expected to be permanent, and they will mainly impact workers in management and contract positions. Most of the layoffs will happen during the first half of 2024, the company says. Uh, UPS currently employs about 495,000 workers. So uh, percentage-wise, it's what, about 6% of the company, 5% of the company. Uh, but still, either way, it's uh, just a sad thing to hear. Uh, it says uh, 2023 was a unique and difficult year. And through it all, we remained focused on controlling what we could control, stayed on strategy, and strengthened our foundation for future growth, said Carol Tomei, the UPS CPO, uh, CEO. Good grief, my tongue ain't working today. UPS reported a 7.8% decrease in revenue in the fourth quarter of 2023. Um, no, that's not for the year. That's just for a quarter. So that is pretty tough. That's pretty big losses. Uh, that was for the fourth quarter of 2023 as compared to the fourth quarter of 2022. Also during the call, UPS leadership, and here to me is what the big news is. Uh, UPS leadership suggested that the Coyote truckload brokerage business could be put up for sale. So if you currently use... Uh, Coyote as a brokerage, uh, there's a possibility U UPS is considering selling them off. And so that's uh, that's interesting. You know, a lot of these brokerage companies that that we think are just a mainstay are, uh, are struggling right now. And some of them that have been our bread and butter and that we've known for years may not be around much longer. Last year, UPS and the Teamsters reached a preliminary labor deal to prevent a strike that increased wages for union workers and transition some part-time workers to full-time. Teamsters General President Sean O'Brien called the deal the most lucrative agreement the Teamsters have ever negotiated at UPS. Yeah, they may live to regret that because now look what's happening, layoffs and things like that. So uh, this is just a short video to kind of tell you all about that and get your opinion. Leave me a comment. What do you think about UPS laying off people and uh, having a bad fourth quarter? And also, what do you think about the potential of Coyote being sold off? And I know what we're stirring up here. We're fixing to do some broker bashing, but that's all right. I'm going to throw this out there. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.